Hi everybody, Mike Brown here again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. In this lesson, we're going to talk about a really cool little feature that's a great time saver. It's called Actions. It is actually one of your panels under the window menu, the very first thing, as A in Actions. And there it is. Um, first of all, we're going to talk about the panel, what it does. We're going to show you some preset actions that are included with Photoshop, show you how to create an action, and we'll discuss the batch command. Actions, by the way, is really, really good. Let's say you're a wedding photographer, and you have a group of pictures, 50, 75, who knows how many pictures, that have all been shot with the same strobe settings, just a different bunch of people coming in and out, different setups with the same setup. And all you have to do is a couple of three corrections across the board, maybe resizing, uh, exposure, color, a little sharpening. That's it, just simple stuff. And you're going to have to do the same exact thing to all of these. So you can create an action or a mini app, if you will, and save it. And then you can apply it in a batch. You can do it one at a time, but you can also just tell it to go find the folder with all these 75 images and do this and press the button and sit back and watch it happen. A real time saver. Okay, let's get started. As I pointed out, the actions panel is under the window menu. And when you first open it up, you won't see this function keys. It will just say default actions. And here's a list of actions that came included with Photoshop. There's a couple of them that are pretty cool. I'll show you one uh, that we're going to use in this example. Now, I have created my own actions under another set. I've called it function keys on my Mac. I'm not sure if you can do this on a PC. You'll have to check it out. But I have programmed all of my function keys, F1 through F12, by creating an action for each one of them to do different functions. For example, F1, I just hit it, will pop up the Save As panel for me. Uh, F4 shows me image sizing. F5 is the brushes. F6 is channels. Uh, F12 is actions, toggles it off, toggles it on. So I don't have to even go over to my dock or up to the window. I have all of my primary functions. F10 is the history panel right over here. So you can even create functions for that. So let's show you how to use functions in any way. Let's close out the um, title page. And here's an image. Uh, of a group of images that I have here. This happens to be Death Valley, by the way. Um, we're going to change the screen mode with the letter F, move it over a little bit, and zoom it up just a hair, right about there. Sounds pretty good. 